Hola, Reisirenas. Hi, kings and queens. I pray that today I find you excited and hopefully you're at church already. I know I'm on my way. Um, and if you're not going to church, I pray that today um, this word will give you great um, intimacy with God, great revelation, insight, and clarity. Um, and why am I saying that if you're not at church? Uh, I really feel that when you go to church, it's a sense of community with others. You get to worship, you get to, and I believe that when we worship, it's a sense of releasing. What is it that we're releasing, Esme? We're releasing stress. We're releasing whatever it is that can possibly keep us in bondage. We're releasing whatever uh, has us stressed, worried. Um, basically, whatever is trying to rob us of the week ahead, we can release it to the Lord. So therefore, this week can be the greatest week of our lives. I truly believe that when we get up and we speak prophetically no matter what you're facing or what you're experiencing maybe you have a wayward child a child that's just not listening to instruction maybe you have your marriage on the rocks maybe you have finances that you're just like the bank account is not adding up with whatever it is it's got to be paid out for this week but that's what i'm talking about when you go to church you release all of that and it, why is church different than at home because you're with fellow believers you're with a community that is in prayer and agreement for us to live the best lives that god has for us if that makes sense i don't want to get off um the subject of today's daily devotional but I pray that today you're excited for today's word. I pray that um, whatever it is that you're enduring, experiencing, or feeling, that you acknowledge it acknowledge confirm what it is that you're feeling because as i'm learning that what you're feeling it helps you make decisions however when you're feeling fears it's because whatever it is that you're experiencing is overcoming the power of the holy spirit in your mind if that makes sense so today i'm going to open in prayer father in the name of jesus we thank you for today we thank you for life we thank you for you being with us every day lord that your presence guides us uh, molds us creates in us activates us and more than anything father just stays with us that we surrender every everything and anything to you every day that we wake lord thank you for life and thank you for your word more than anything father i thank you for the opportunity to share your word in jesus name i pray and today we are reading lord have your way we're reading from matthew 5 6 blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness for they will be filled there you go on Sundays when you go to church you're filled your worship the opening of your heart and your mind and your spirit is you're opening it to be filled with what God wants you to be filled with which is more of him the Holy Spirit and today's title is the chewing years chewing yes chewing and it has quotation quotation the chewing years my wife recently gave me a Labrador retriever puppy we named Max one day when Max was spending time with me in study I was concentrating at my desk and heard the sound of paper ripping behind me. I turned to find a guilty looking puppy with a book wide open and a page dangling from his mouth. Our, veter our veterinarian tells us that Max is going through his chewing years. As puppies lose their milk teeth and permanent ones grow, they soothe their gums by chewing almost anything. We have to watch Max carefully to ensure he isn't gnawing on something that could harm him and we point him to healthy alternatives. Max urge to chew and my responsibility to watch him caused me to think about what we chew on in our minds and hearts. Amen. Do we carefully consider what we're feeding our eternal souls when we read or surf the web or watch TV? The Bible encourages us. Like newborn babies crave pure spiritual milk so that by it you may grow up in your salvation. Now that you have trust tasted that the Lord is good. You can read more on that in 1 Peter 2, 2-3. to We need to fill ourselves daily with scripture and truth. If we're, th we're to thrive as believers in Jesus, only then we can grow to maturity in Him. Today's question, uh, are, questions are, when Christ returns, what would He find you craving? I will tell you that I used to go out a lot. I used to drink. I used to, um, and I never could understand why I would drink my drink so much. Like it was, I wouldn't drink a lot. I would binge drink. I would drink like two or three and that would do it. And I would always think like, why, why? I learned later in prayer and reading and growing intimate with the Lord that I was silencing his voice. And what does that mean, Esme? It means that as you drink, and the Bible tells you to don't drink, don't smoke, don't do things that make you lose self-control. 
because you're not sober minded. And when you're sober minded, you're clear. You can think, you can um, really make better decisions if that makes sense because you're in control. You're in control. And for me, I wanted to get drunk so I would lose my self control. So, therefore, whatever I did, I wouldn't have that conviction that would be haunting me daily because I did have conviction that would burden me. And I will tell you, that takes, that used to take my peace. I don't know if it works for you, but it would take my peace hugely. So I realized that I would ask God, even though I would drink, I would ask God, I pray that you remove the taste of alcohol in my mouth. I pray that I dislike it. And literally I could be drinking, like sipping on a drink and I would literally be in my mind, like I'd be praying that and I'd be literally like, Lord, take it. And it's crazy because now I'm in a place in my life where I can drink something of alcohol and I'm just like, it, it just doesn't hit well. So then I switched it to eating and then I had gained a lot of weight. And that's the thing is that there's always things that we're craving or there's things that we do subconsciously and we don't even realize it. It's like if you used to smoke, people that smoke, then they go back to eating and then they gain weight because there's always your spirit and what's really your flesh is always seeking something to fulfill it the only way that the Lord can, if that makes sense to you. I don't want to get off subject too much, but maybe that's a word for somebody. Um, so when Christ returns, what will we find you craving? Now I was craving food. I like seriously had to get self-control of that. And I, um, I'm learning that food is not something that I do when I'm stressed or when I'm worried. I would eat. Stress eat is what they call it. So I'm learning now that that's, that's what I was. I was craving that. Um, the second question is, how can you learn to seek him? Um, the reason why it's been in my heart to do these devotionals is because many times when I re read, I have read the Bible, even now there's times where I read the Bible and I'm like, what? I, I don't understand it. And I'm like, mm. so I seek other alternatives to try to help me understand. As I mentioned, I have children's Bibles. I have babies' Bibles because there's different ways that we all have different ways of learning. So why is it that I do this devotion? I seek him daily. It reminds me. And why is it that I chose to go live and do these things live? It's because I, I want you all to know that there's times where I read the Bible and I don't understand. There's things that I don't understand. There's things that I read and I'm like, Lord, give me understanding. Sometimes he answers, sometimes he doesn't. But what I realize is that when I go live and I'm learning these devotionals, there's something that's activated in me because it's a community. It's not just me. That's why I say it's important for you to have a community of believers, a community of people that probably don't even understand either because they can give you insight in other areas where you're blinded that makes sense to you so how can you learn to seek him i've learned that doing devotionals seek him daily so i if there's things that i don't understand there's things that he wants me to know i truly believe that everything is orchestrated and ordained by him i don't think that we're together in this community by accident i think that it was ordained by god um and i believe that he puts these things in our hearts to seek and desire things of him and he will bring you relationships he will bring you across people on your web on your um social medias or your internet or whatever you're gonna come across things and i will tell you that most of the times you will see the same word over and over again and you're like what is that god is speaking to you he's trying to get you to seek him to give you understanding he's trying to get you to seek him to get um ideas and strategies on how to create a different um guide for your family because maybe you're trying to get out of poverty maybe you don't understand maybe you're just trying to seek a better way of living if that makes sense so i pray that um you seek him daily if you don't know where to begin and these are blessing you share 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 because there's many many people that um need to see this in their algorithm and it might bless them too today's prayer is loving god help us to to hunger for you and your wisdom amen thank you father and to stay away from that which harms me fill fill us he'll harms us fill us with your goodness today and i'm going to tell you another thing that he has that i've been realizing that there's like i used to get dressed to go out and i used to love to like get dressed and go out dancing and forget the world that whatever my environment was at that moment so i would like to go out and i like recently like there's times where like i'm like okay i'm gonna go out i'll plan right like that me and my husband are gonna go out or whatever and it's like when it comes down to it it's like i don't know like my house gets filled with my family uh people come over and it's like that's where god tells me like what's more important to you is it more important for you to go out and because you're stressed or because you're something that there's in you that needs healing so you want to go out and you want to sedate it or do you want to face it and heal it so right now that's that's a vulnerable honest moment right now is that there's things of the past that i used to do that i feel that i need them in this day and i don't i don't need them the lord is healing me in areas where i didn't even know that i needed healing so if that makes sense, maybe that's for you. And I pray this specific prayer for you that 
loving God, help us, help me to hunger for you and your wisdom and to stay away from that which harms me. That Say that prayer for you specifically by yourself. I pray that the Lord gives you a revelation on what it is that you're doing that may be harming you or causing you to live in this same cycle of this life where you're getting the same results and you just want different. So I pray that that blesses you and I pray that the Lord fills you with his goodness today and that's why i go to church because i need to be filled with a different kind of of holy spirit in the sense that the holy spirit is the same every day every way however when you're in church it's just a different way of being fed it's a different restaurant as you're at home you're eating you're reading the word that's your daily bread when you go to church it's a different kind it's like a feast of fellow people that are eating one word that's going to hit us all differently so I pray that today you're blessed and I thank you for um, your time. I pray that it's invested um, and that you get blessed and comfort or whatever it is that you're seeking. That the Lord gives you great ideas and strategies, revelation, insight, and clarity beyond your years of age. And today I am wearing the Hagar Lash. No, this one is, is this one the Hagar? I think it is the Hagar. However, I put a lot of mascara on it to make it look more dramatic. And this is the Hagar Lash. As you can see, it's a simple um, everyday lash. However, when you layer it with mascara, it it looks like it can look like the way this does so this is a hagar lash what is this this is lord and esme beauty holy lash collection i'm showing the lashes now because many people are asking me what is it i'll put the the, the link to purchase on the description below this is a brand that has a holy lash the first and only holy lash collection consecrated dedicated to god and honor and name the women of the bible and this is something that the Lord put in my heart to create, which I did. Every lash has a barcode that will take you to my YouTube channel and a scripture to go with the woman um, that is named after the lash. So it could give you a better idea of the woman. However, you want to read more on Hagar. Um, she was with Abraham and Sarah. It's, it's a crazy faith-filled um, story that sometimes we try to make things happen in our own time when God has a specific way that he wants it to happen. We can try to make it happen in our own way. It won't happen. It's only going to happen the way God, God wants it. So this is a $12 clear band uh, mink lash that can be used multiple times the clear case is acrylic it's open and closes and it can take care of your lashes so therefore your money will be invested properly so you won't be out there wasting it so you can create ideas and strategies to um multiply your money and not spend it foolishly so in jesus name be blessed i'll see y'all soon god bless y'all remember you're king or queen reign responsibly live as a child of the most high um god honors you or you honor him so god bless y'all see you soon i love y'all lots god is at work this too shall pass bye